Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the bee theme and the bee builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. This tutorial is great news for all those who works with global theme options. From now on, you don't have to switch between the Bee Builder and theme options. In version 26.5, we've combined theme options and the Bee Builder, so when working with the Builder, you can change all global settings easily. To do that, all you have to do is click on the globe icon located in the bottom left corner and the theme options will appear in the same location as the Builder settings. Let's have a look on how it works. On the pre-built website I've just imported, uh, I have, for example, this uh, H2 heading, uh, which is right now kind of the brown color. And let's say I want to change its color, but not in the style tab, like you probably normally do in the B-Builder, because it will be changed for this heading only, but let's say you want to change the color of H2 tag globally across all pages. Okay, so all you have to do is go to the theme options and in the colors headings tab, you have to check the color you would like to change. Right, as you can see, uh, everything is happening live and instant and what's more important you don't have to click an update button just like you do normally when working in the B-Builder because all theme options uh, saves uh, automatically on change. Let's have a look on the other example. On this page I have an icon box uh, element where the title is H4 and for example, uh, I want to change the font family across uh, the whole website for all H4s. So all I have to do is go to the theme options again and in the fonts family tab, all I have to do is change the font for the big heading. Let's say I want to change it, for example, maybe to Lancelot. That's great. As you can see, the font has changed and the same font will be applied across all website. Let's make the last change maybe in the footer because um, this footer does not come from the template but from the theme options. So uh, I want to change its color. Uh, so go to the theme options again, colors and the footer tab. And here I have the background color so as soon as I click the color will change. There are hundreds of options in the theme options, so generally I could click like that for the next few hours, which makes no sense. I just wanted to show you that right now there is no need to switch between the backend theme options and the B Builder because everything is in the same place and you can make all changes from one place, the B Builder. I really hope you like this video and from now on you will be using theme options directly from the Bay Builder, which will speed up your work and take your workflow to the next level. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.